always get the sense about you and some of the other MPs in your sort of wing of the party, but particularly you, that you just feel sort of instinctively quite uncomfortable with so-called culture war issues, that the Conservative Party... I mean, do you think the Conservative Party has just leaned too hard into these culture war questions, so-called? I know, as well as any other colleague, that general elections are won and lost on the economy, on how you deliver public services, on whether people have confidence in a government that is going to do the right thing on education, on the NHS, on law and order. Um, culture wars, when it comes to determining how people vote in any given election, are so far down the average voter's political radar that um, I don't know why we're seeking to stoke division and hatred. Um, general elections are won on the centre ground and um, by whichever party people feel have confidence to deliver for them. Do you think that the party has sought to stoke division and hatred or some elements of it? I mean, to use your word just now. I think that it would be fair to say that by continually focusing on a few narrow issues where there is real division and toxicity in the debate, that it, it does it does stoke people up. I mean, I only have to look at... I've spent all day today talking about a report my select committee has done on black maternal health, where black women are dying four times more in childbirth than their white counterparts. You should see the racist bile and rant that has come into my inbox as a result of an issue where you would have thought that the average person would go, oh, that's horrendous. People are dying in childbirth in a country where we have a really strong record on maternal morbidity, where it's really unusual to die in childbirth. You would have thought that people would be concerned about mums dying, babies growing up with no mother, babies dying. No, the emails I've had about it today have been racist. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 